Hi guys, and welcome to Two Minute Tips for Autism. Well, we have Dr. Rosinal, and we're just super excited because we have a very hot topic, stem cells. Is it good, is it bad, do we need more research? What the heck? Well, um, obviously when we're talking about autism and other developmental disorders, we're looking for treatments, right? Mm -hmm. So we want something that's gonna help our kids. So um, my philosophy is try, at least in the beginning, to use things that are well studied. Okay. Um, that might include diet and supplements and certain medications and things like that. And then once you exhaust some of those things, then certainly you might start looking at other treatments. And stem cells would kind of fall into that category. So there aren't any studies to date on using stem cells in autism. There's some ongoing studies. There's one in India. There's going to be one that's going to be starting in California. So I think we'll know more as these studies are done. So um, I've had a lot of patients who have gone overseas and done stem cells, and the results have been extremely variable. I mean, some kids have had some you know, fairly impressive improvements. It's a fairly small number, I think. I've had a lot of kids who have had mild improvements. Maybe they're a little bit calmer. I've had some kids that have gone and done several uh, transplant and had no improvement, and I've even seen some kids that do a little bit worse. So I think uh, the issue that we have right now is there's so many places doing it in the world, mm -hmm. and there's no standard protocol. Everyone's doing sure. sort of different cells, different type. Where do you inject it? Do you have to do it into the IV, into the spinal fluid? Do you do it into the brain? Um, you know, what type of stem cells do you use? Where do you take them from? When should you do them? What all the treatments should you do with them? So I think there's a lot of unanswered questions. I think it's promising for the future, though. I mean, we're, always, we're not going to turn away any potential treatment that might mm -hmm. be helpful. We just so, don't know yet. Yeah, I think, you know, if you have a child who's... Um, you haven't tried supplementation and diet and even some medications, um, you might want to look at those things first because at least some of those things have been studied. Exhaust those things first and then maybe go out and say, hmm, maybe I'll look at stem cells at that point if you feel like you not need it. Not the first thing, though. Probably not the first thing. Gotcha. Right. Well, thank so. you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks, guys. And again, that was Two Minute Tips for Autism. Till next time. Bye.